Hello, it's Brick Bros UK and as many of you know, unless you've been living under a rock for the past few days, the first Avengers Endgame trailer has been released, and it's pretty awesome to watch if you've been desperate to see footage of the new movie. But as far as LEGO sets go, there's no images to see yet, which is why we've decided to use the hero appearances, plot hints and rumours from the trailer to share our predictions on potential Avengers Endgame sets, builds and minifigure ideas to whet everyone's appetite for 2019. So if we jump right into it and start at the beginning when Tony is seen recording a message for Pepper into his ruined Iron Man helmet aboard the damaged Guardian ship. This scene in our eyes clearly shows Tony and Nebula desperately need rescuing after surviving the fight against Thanos. And as far as remaining Avengers capable of a rescue deep in space go, we'd guess it will either be Pepper in the rescue seat or Captain Marvel, who's probably the better option of the two because it would make an excellent first appearance in an Avengers movie for the hero. So a rescue style scene could work well as one of the Lego sets including a smaller ruined ship as the build. A Nebula minifigure to make up for her no-show in the Infinity War sets, a new sleeveless injured Tony Stark, a Captain Marvel flying to their rescue, and maybe Pepper to give the set an Iron Man suit, but we'll have to wait and see about this idea. Moving on to another theory, Captain America and Black Widow pop up together in the trailer planning a showdown with Thanos. And it looks like Black Widow hasn't really changed with the same blonde hair, black combat outfit style from Infinity War. So we'd assume the minifigure would stay the same with maybe a few extra printed details on the torso or a possible hair swap. But the good news is Cap has changed quite a lot and you might have noticed he shaved off his beard going back to a more traditional clean shaven look. And we wouldn't be surprised if Lego opted to use the old Civil War head for the endgame minifigure, so it might be a good time to dust off this version if you still have it. Captain America's also seen wearing his Winter Soldier outfit, which is a suit design we haven't come across in LEGO before. So this would be a nice bonus for collectors and we'd expect to see both heroes in maybe a large final battle set after their appearance in the small Outrider dropship attack set in the Infinity War wave. Next up, one of the biggest talking points in the trailer was obviously the appearance of Hawkeye, or should we say Ronin, but it's not that one guys. And it's a major talking point because the hero didn't appear in Infinity War, and we're glad he's back in this new, darker style armed with a sword instead of a bow. So we hope LEGO do a good job designing the minifigure's black leather outfit, and as far as sets go, Hawkeye might be included in a final battle set. Or it could be a possible Tokyo style one to offer us a different location build with Ninjago style elements like hanging lanterns, to show how Black Widow finds her friend again. Following on from Hawkeye, a casual Bruce Banner and Scott Lang minifigures could fit in nicely to a Scott's van set outside an Avengers base gate. But Lego could go back to using the micro figure Ant Man from the Superheroes Airport Battle Civil War set to save on minifigures. Or they may need to shrink him for a Quantum Realm style set if it has any significance to the movie plot, so we'll have to see what happens with the hero. Then last but not least for our final prediction we have a strong feeling the biggest set in the Avengers Endgame wave will have to be a final battle which is something we've already mentioned. Now this set would definitely include lots of the heroes like a new suited Iron Man, maybe Rescue, Hawkeye possibly, Black Widow and Cap, Hulk, Captain Marvel, Thor, Rocket, War Machine, Nebula and maybe many other heroes if some join up or come back. We'd also expect it to feature our new Big Fig Thanos because we see a glimpse of the villain's armour in the trailer and LEGO might want to capitalise on this by upgrading the lazy recoloured comic one they put in the Infinity War Ultimate Battle set. So that's why a Thanos with a new gold armour design could be on the cards to make the villain more appealing and the final battle set an epic buy. But if this prediction is completely wrong, we have heard a rumour that an Avengers base could release either as the largest set in the wave, or it may come out later in the year as a special one-off to celebrate this milestone in the MCU's life. A bit like the helicarrier we saw in 2012, which would be amazing, and like many of you, we'd definitely buy it if it actually appears as a real-life set. So that's all of our theories, predictions and possible minifigure ideas for the upcoming LEGO Avengers Endgame sets that's a wave we're super excited about and it should be the best ever if the hype is anything to go on. Now we know a lot of probably what we predicted won't be right as we only had a few snippets to go on in the trailer. But it was still fun sharing our ideas and we guess our only solid prediction would have to be a Ronin Hawkeye minifigure in at least one of the sets. We also think the Avengers base or final battle are good shouts too with a new design Thanos, but knowing LEGO will probably only get one and we'll just have to cross our fingers and wait and see what appears. 
So thanks for watching guys and if you have any of your own set ideas or think we missed something leave us a comment below to join in the discussion plus stay tuned for the official images and information coming out in the near future. Hope you enjoyed a Brick Bros UK LEGO news update and don't forget to check out our channel for the latest LEGO news and like, comment and subscribe to Brick Bros UK.